Hey guys and welcome back to another video and in this video we're going to be having a look at what's inside my air tech bag. This is a bag from air which is around $200. So yeah we're going to be having a look at what's inside of this backpack. And we're going to be having a look at this backpack itself. It's really premium. And if you're looking for a backpack to put all your tech in on your days out, then I think this is the one. Anyway, that's for you to judge. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. So the backpack came in a box. I ordered it from the US for $200. It's a premium $200 backpack. And it was pretty simple unboxing. You know, it just came in this air cardboard box and inside it was uh, in this plastic bag as you can see here. Uh, it looks real sleek from here and it's uh, as you can see from here it actually looks pretty compact. So the name of the backpack is the Air Tech Pack and basically it's directed towards people who need to carry around a lot of tech along with their average daily products on a daily basis with the least struggle possible all while in a sleek low profile design. So this bag is a pretty big bag, but that's not a problem, because if you're still into that sleek design, you can get the Air Day Pack, which is significantly cheaper and a fair amount smaller, but still big enough to carry around a lot of stuff. So I'll link that down below in the description, along with everything else in this video. So I'm personally a really, really big fan of the design. I love the low profile look and that deep black color with that super clean front. And another great feature of the tech pack are the zippers. So all the zippers that are revealed to the outside are covered in this kind of rubberish material that blocks out all the holes in between the zippers. So this is meant for waterproofing or water resistance. And having walked out in the rain, I can definitely say that it's reliable. And finally, I just want to add that I even have this bag hung on my wall with this hanger for the sake of my desk setup. And honestly, I think it looks pretty dope. So leave a comment on what you think about it. Anyway, let's see what's inside. So we're going to start off by looking at the first front compartment, uh, which basically has all uh, the dedicated tech compartments. So if we have a look inside here, we're going to have a look at the Apple Pencil. Uh, now this is definitely by far, you know, the best stylus that I've ever used. Uh, and obviously the new Apple Pencil is out for the new iPad Pros, which does have some new features. But other than that, you know, it's pretty much the same. Obviously, you know, the whole charging technique is uh, pretty weird, but it's still a really fast, you know, it's very high quality. Next is uh, just a normal pen that I like to carry around. Well, a friction pen. Uh, you know, uh, swappable ink, you, you can rub out, you know, what you write. Uh, pretty simple, nothing too much. Now, next uh, in the bag is a stylus, which is actually for any device, for a phone, for an iPad, uh, for anything. And it's, uh, you know, it's powered by a uh, one AAA battery, so, you know, it doesn't take much. And I haven't used that a lot, to be honest, in the past you know, year, or probably even more, in the past two years. Uh, but, yeah, it, you know, if you're looking for a stylus, for your phone, this is a decent one, uh, but it's it's pretty thick though and heavy and you know and sm not it's not small. Uh, so yeah, I just want to show you here uh, drawing uh, just a, a mini picture on my phone. See there, my uh, art skills. Anyway, yep, yeah, that's a pen, the stylus. Uh, moving on. Uh, in here I have a Immuto, Imuto, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right, uh, but it's a portable charger. And it comes in two different figures, 5,000 5, mAh, 5, and 10,000 mAh. This is the 10,000 mAh, and it comes with two USB-A ports, a micro USB port for charging, and obviously a power button. And uh, what's special about it, in a way, is that when you click the button, it has a mini LCD screen that tells you the percentage that the actual portable charger is on. Now this is a mini 4K camera. Uh, it was only 50 pounds, which is really cool. Uh, the highest it records that is 4K at 20 FPS. 
and it connects to your phone so you can see what's going on live on your phone uh, and it was, yeah it was only 50 pounds it hasn't got any image stabilization and you know any good camera features and here's just a preview of how it how it looks like but um yeah if you're just looking for some cheap small camera to use maybe for uh putting on a helmet if you're biking or something as a recording this is really cool next up is my favorite mouse of absolutely you know all time the logitech mx master it looks sleek it feels sleek and it truly is sleek with you know all its different um all its different features that you can use uh you know you've got like three four no you've got like seven different buttons um and the you have two different scrolling options in terms of you know the way it feels you can have it really smooth or you know like kind of a bit bumpier uh, a full review on this will be coming out soon if you're interested because this is definitely an amazing mouse and you should definitely consider buying this it's pretty pricey though around 80 pounds uh right now right now currently with the cyber monday deals uh, it is only like 50 pounds on Amazon. So yeah, that's pretty cool So moving on from the MX master is my Mavic 2 zoom controller a Mavic 2 zoom is basically a drone from uh, DJI uh, we're gonna get into that um, a bit later, but it's a really really great drone and uh, great controller with it uh, So moving on is basically just my uh, DJI power brick so if I want to charge the drone, which by the way, you charge the battery, not straight up through the drone. Uh, but yeah, if I ever do want to charge the drone, the power brick, uh, I just connect it to a power cable and yeah, there you go. Now next up in one of the lower pockets is my 12, my, my 13 inch MacBook Pro charger. Uh, obviously with the power brick, um, this always got to carry it around, uh, never know how much I'm going to be spending time on the MacBook and you know how much battery it's gonna lose so uh, it's it's great to have this around and yeah so put that away and next up is uh, just a power cable for the Mavic uh, charger uh, you just put this into the power brick and the power brick into the charger nothing too exp uh, nothing too complicated you know just simple uh, and yeah and then over here in the zipper, I have a few cables. Now I'm gonna go over a cable bag a bit later, um, but here anyway, I have um, a few cables and that's starting off with lightning. Uh, this is the one meter one, uh, which I use for my iPhone. Uh, next up is a USB-C cable. This is the one that actually came with uh, the drone. This was originally for the uh, Mavic 2 controller. Anyway, over here, I have um, my iPad my iPad uh, power adapter anyway next up is uh, just this SD card adapter to make micro SDs bigger and over here is just a USB-C to micro USB converter which actually came also as you can see with DJI with the drone uh, so I could charge a controller and I use this a lot anyway, so it's really great So I only have to carry two cables around And over here is just a key holder that comes out of that so that's pretty useful there So yeah, that's it for this pocket So next up in the main compartment uh, if we open that here we're gonna have a look into the top thing which is in fact my glasses case uh, so it's just a sleek black uh, magnetic glasses case uh, it's like a square build it's pretty cool it's nice uh, keep my glasses in there short-sighted you know I never know when I'm gonna need them use them mostly in the movies though I'm not gonna bring them back back into the movies but anyway yeah glasses great to have them around uh, I mean what can I say they're great glasses and yeah next up in the main compartment is one of the most interesting parts and that is the drone so I bought this case uh, for the drone uh, it's great it's really protective it fits the drone perfectly and it's got a patch in the back where I can even put the controller in if I wanted to but anyway if we open that up over here we get to see 
the Mavic 2 Zoom in all its glory. This is probably my favorite consumer drone, uh, and many, many would agree with me. Uh, it's super portable, it's super high quality, it's got you know a bunch of features. The camera is great, the build is great. Uh, DJI are always improving on their smart, you know, smartening up their drones, uh, adding skills and features, and many software updates to come as well in the app, uh, which do help improve what the drone can do, so that's really great. But there will be a review on that coming out soon. So as you can see here, this is a raw shot, raw footage from uh, the drone in Vegas and then there's the color corrected. And as you can see, it can shoot some super cinematic shots. Um, and if you're looking for a drone, this is definitely the one because I was just carrying it around Vegas, uh, you know, not even in a backpack and just a carrying case and it was simple as hell. So I definitely recommend this. Anyway, uh, behind that is my MacBook Pro. This is a 13 inch 2018 MacBook Pro with 512 gigabytes of storage and 8 gigabytes of RAM. This is the Touch Bar and Touch ID version and it's got a quad core i5 processor. I just use it, I use this for editing basically. I mean I'm editing this video on it uh, with this MacBook right now. Uh, it's great, the screen is great, the keyboard is great. I love it. Uh, I've always preferred Mac OS over Windows. Why? Just because it's, I prefer the system and you know I'm not an Apple fanboy, I definitely prefer Androids over iPhones but Apple just have a really great system and Mac OS is so clean and organized and just Windows haven't been able I feel to just get the exact same amount of, le exact same level of organization though Windows is still really good. Anyway, uh, next up is probably my favorite thing in the bag and that's my iPad. I probably use the iPad the most, even more than the laptop. Why? Because it's it's thinner, it's lighter, it's um, it's just more convenient, more accessible. You've got the screen, you've got the touch screen, you've got the Apple Pencil, you can do whatever. I edited a, a portion of this video on this iPad Pro uh, and it's really great, really great. It's got a big screen, which I love, as you can see I'm using a 12.9 inch. Uh, and I, you know, I couldn't recommend it more to most people. Next up, so yeah, if I put that away. So next up is uh, just a simple portable speaker. Oh no, never mind. So next up is my headphones. These are also one of my favorite things in the bag. So they come in this really premium case. And as you can see here, they are the Sony WH-1000X M3 headphones. Definitely 100% the best headphones on the market, considering its price, its features, its noise cancelling, its quality, its build quality. I couldn't recommend this more, and a review on it will be coming out soon. Um, they are pricey, around $350, so £320 in the UK, uh, but they're still amazing, and you know they're worth the money. So next up here is the speaker. This is a UE Boom 2, nothing too amazing. It's a really beautiful, amazing speaker. It's water resistant, so I love using it in the beach, just plotting it in the sand, uh, using it at the, by the pool, uh, in the shower. It's just great, and it's loud. It's uh, 360 degree music. It's, you know, I can recommend it more, and I think I got it for 80 pounds, but uh, I'm not sure how much it is now. So you'll have to check that out. And then in the very back compartment is this massive compartment, like zero. It, you know, it's just an empty, but you can put whatever in there. I tend to put uh, bags for school, but in here at the moment, I have this board. Uh, it's basically a board that has a bunch of elastic bands on it, which hold your things together. It's like a whole new dedicated compartment, and it's so cool. Link obviously will be in the description below, along with everything else. Uh, but over here, yeah, it's just my hard drive. Uh, I use it mainly for backups. And yeah, it's just you can put a lot of different things in there. You can really max it out. And it comes in different sizes as well. If you're worried that your bag wouldn't fit in, uh, this wouldn't fit in your bag. And there's also a bag which has this built in with it. Uh, so this is a really cool idea. And you know, I got to give him a lot of respect for that. Anyway, yep, yeah, that's it for the board. 
Now if we close, no, yeah, so if we close this compartment up here, we will see in here a quick access compartment. This is, it's decently small and you can fit, a, you know, you can fit a decent amount of things in there. So if we first have a look, we've got my portable charger. This is another portable charger, I think this is only 5,000 million powers. Uh, it feels a little bit more premium to be honest because of its aluminum build. And uh, yeah, it's got two USB A's and micro USB, micro USB for charging and just this button that tells you how much percent the actual power bank is on. It's great, it's cheap, I honestly can't, I found it somewhere in the airport so I'm not sure if I can link it, I'll try, but if I don't, it, yeah, it won't be that. Next up inside are my Ray-Bans. Um, not super, you know, ideal to carry around in the UK. It's always raining, no real need for sunglasses, but it's always nice to have them around. And yeah, I just like to keep them in there because there's no better place to keep them than in that compartment in that bag. Next up is just a wallet. This is a very slim wallet uh, and it was around 15 pounds. It was decently cheap. Uh, for something that was really really high quality and I was really surprised with the quality when I first used it and yeah I always you know, like to carry some cash on me along with my cards uh, but yeah nothing too make sure, uh, nothing too complicated uh, but it's black it comes in different colors and it looks good and yeah so why not and that is that for the main compartment uh, the main top compartment on the back and finally is another quick access pocket and in here are my airpods uh, airpods i love them yes they're a little pricey but if you want good quality then they are uh, even though i'm using android i'm still sticking with airpods just because i love them they're quick they're small they're easy i love them and i can recommend them more and also inside is my SD card adapter sort of thing. So since I use a MacBook Pro and a iPad Pro, I don't have any SD card slots to put any SD cards in, for example my drone or my camera. So as you can see here, uh, all you have to do is put it in one of the slots micro SD or standard SD. And you have a bunch of ports such as uh, USB-C and Lightning, USB-A and in the US and if you open up the USB A port you'll find that it's micro USB as well so you've got all four ports but I mainly use lightning for the iPad and USB-C for my MacBook I hope you guys enjoyed this video on the backpack it took a while to edit and make so if you did like it just drop a like down below or subscribe and you know, if you didn't like it, then you know what to do, but I really hope you guys enjoyed the video, and yeah, see you next time.